So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google AI Studio, not to check the weather or to check if your image is spatially correct, but for things that actually turn your actions into real profits. So let me guess, you're making websites, you're creating content, and you're doing all those kind of things. But to be honest, nothing is really happening. No money is happening. You're kind of, you're leaking profits almost like a busted pipe. You know, it's really painful to see people come to your website and then kind of bounce off, you know, without actually taking the time to read your content. And kind of like, I gotta, gotta ask you, like, why is this? Is it because they're greedy with a website like this here? Or would you prefer it to be greedy with a website like this? This is the kind of stuff that Google AI Studio can help you with. And it's also one of the first things that I'm gonna look at when we get into the AI Studio right now. My name's Kieran Doyle. If you're new here, make sure that you, uh, hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Uh, it, give it us a like. If you're new here, give us a subscribe. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Are you utilizing AI Studio? Also, there's a free affiliate marketing training course down below as well that you can get onto. Also, I'm not gonna give you a bunch of crap hacks that don't work and that aren't relevant to what it is that you need to do. This is just going to be for business people, for entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs who want to actually turn what they're doing into cash, okay? So let's get into it. So here we are inside of Google AI Studio. Now, as you can see here, I'm not going to go through any of this stuff at the moment. I just want to jump into an advanced feature that I think you're going to find absolutely awesome. So on the, on the left-hand side here, I just wanted you to come to stream real time. And what this is going to enable us to do, basically, we can talk to Gemini. We can show Gemini our webcam where it can analyze things that we have in our hand or analyze things like kind of, <laughs> kind of things like this and give us information about it. Or we can share our screen. Now, we're going to be sharing our screen. And I'm actually going to be sharing what is a, a squeeze page of mine. Now, this squeeze page converts extremely well already. But I want Gemini to help me improve the conversion rate of that by giving me more action focused content for the squeeze page okay so all i'm going to do is i'm going to click share screen a uh, one thing i want you to notice sometimes if you're asking this gemini model for over six six minutes six minutes it can sometimes stop working so make sure that you take it step by step okay so share your screen I'm going to choose the screen that I want to share. Okay. Yes, I can see your screen. It displays a website with a large heading that reads, the easiest marketing models almost everyone overlooks. Okay, stop now. Gemini, Understood. what I want you to do is I want you to analyze this page quickly for me and find out exactly what it is. The web page is a marketing landing page titled, the easiest marketing models almost everyone overlooks. It claims to reveal the secret strategy used by top bloggers and affiliate marketers to boost their income and build a loyal audience. Now, what I want to do is I want to make this more action focused to increase conversions on this page. Now, to start with, I want to start with my title. I want you to make this more action focused based on your understanding of copywriting tactics. One approach would be to use active verbs and focus on the benefit to the user. Instead of the easiest marketing models almost everyone overlooks, how about uncover the simple marketing models that skyrocket income, for example? Perfect. I love that. Let's use that. Now let's move on to the subtitle. All right. Sounds good. I'm ready to help you analyze the subtitle next. Okay, so please do and tell me how you can improve this to make it more action focused. Okay, the subtitle currently says, Discover the secret strategy that top bloggers and affiliate marketers use to skyrocket their income and build a loyal audience. To make the subtitle more action-focused and compelling, we could replace Discover the Secret Strategy with something more direct, like Unlock the Proven Strategy. Also, to make it really hit home, consider focusing more on what the user will gain. How about Unlock the Proven Strategy top bloggers and affiliates use to skyrocket your income and build a loyal audience, for example? I think that's very similar to what we already have here. I want you to change it quite dramatically. I understand. How about this? Stop guessing, start earning. 
the proven path top bloggers and affiliates use to skyrocket your income and build a loyal audience. This aims for a more dramatic shift, using direct language and emphasizing the shift from uncertainty to achievement. Okay, I think that's absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for that. Now let's let just look at point one. Okay, we're only going to focus on point one at the moment. I think it needs to be more action focused to make a person go, oh, wow, God, I, I really need to know that. Okay, yeah, I see what you mean. To make the first bullet point more action focused and generate more, wow, I need to know that, consider something like unlock the three-step passive income formula. Industry leaders use this exact system to consistently generate passive income. How does that grab you? That sounds absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love it. Okay, so what I've basically done here now is I'm just going to come back in here. And as you can see, it's uh, stopped recording. Uh, as you can see, it's gone through each of the points and given me better content that I can use. Now, then all I would do is go back into my, um, con into my squeeze page creator and actually go and update that formula. All right. So that's what you need to actually be doing. So, so simple to use. And you can see it's using all of its marketing now to actually create better content for you. So that is tip number one, utilizing that. Now let's move on to the next one. So the next thing I want to do is I want to just come down here to prompt gallery. Okay. So what this basically is, is these are already pre-made prompts that you can use yourself, but not all of them are going to be relevant to you. Okay. So I just want to focus on the ones that are relevant to you as an online business person who is interested in actually making money. So you can have a scroll down and have a look down through these yourself and see which ones basically you can see, like who really needs a coffee bot? Order coffee from your virtual barista. Who, who, who needs that? It, it, it's fun, but it's, look, to be honest, come on. So the first one that I want to look at is actually just marketing AI. So this is get catchy advertising coffee tailored to your idea, okay? Now, if we just simply click on this, as you can see here, it's given some examples, okay? So you can upload an image or you can add text, okay? Now, I, th I like the idea of uploading the image, okay? So you can add your product image, then you add your target audience, and then it gives you an output, okay? And here we can even test it, okay? So let's say that our, let's say, middle-aged outlier, am I? So what we're doing is basically it's given us an image. We're just going to test it. We're just going to say middle age athletes and we're just going to click run output. OK, and what it's basically going to do is give us a marketing description for this. Here's a marketing description based on middle age outputs. Uh, keep your game strong. Don't let age slow you down. This basketball is engineered for consistent performance, providing the perfect grip and feel for your season skills. OK, so and then it gives another option as well. OK. So as you can see, it's very simple. All you need to do is basically click, add your image, and then you can upload your image from your, from your hard drive or from your Google Drive and go through the process as well. Or you can actually add a test example and you can even just add some text in here. So let's say, write a test input. So we could say, um, let's say, man on a bike cycling up a hill okay and write a test input who's our target audience and we could say beg beginner c y c l i s t s okay and then we're just going to click run to get an output okay okay here's a marketing description option one conquer your first hill this just it this isn't just a bike ride it's a journey see that cyclist that could be you okay so again something useful for you a marketing tip okay so something something that you can use within your marketing that is very clever within here and that's in the prompt gallery so let's move on to the next prompt in the prompt gallery that is good for an online business now there are a few other cool ones in here there's the blog writer okay now the blog writer in itself seems to have some internal issues sometimes so look and to be honest i much prefer creating 
blog posts in Claude AI. But also, while we're in here, I just wanted to explain some things to you, okay? So on the side here, you've got your different models that you can actually use. Now, these are the different models of artificial intelligence that you can use. So you got your Gemini 1.5 Pro, Flash. Then you got your experimental ones in here, your new ones, your Learn. Then you've got these ones down here. So you could go to the brand new one here, which is still an experimental, okay? And you could utilize that yourself for free instead of actually via uh, Gemini itself. But then I want to explain temperature to you, okay? So when it's at one here, that means kind of like it's neutral. That means that it's giving basically a neutral answer to what it is that you're actually asking it to do. If you put it down to zero, what it's going to do is it's just going to give you factual answers based on its training data. Okay, so completely factual. It's just going to be very boring, nothing to it apart from the, the, the real just base data. OK, then if you put it up to two, this is where it gets a little bit more creative. And it also is where it can start hallucinating with certain things as well. So I like to leave things just normal. You can test it out yourself anyway. But let's go back to the prompt gallery because I'm not going to use the blog writer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use actually what is called the sentiment check. OK, so this analyzes the sentiment of your content in here. OK, so an example of this, it gives you an example in here. Analyze the sentiment of the following tweets and classify them as positive, negative or neutral. It's so beautiful day. OK, and then it looks at the first one. It's so cold today. I can't feel my feet, but we're not going to use any of these. We're just going to delete these out of here. So let's say that you had a bunch of reviews that you had for your product or whatever it was. So you could just say, analyze the sentiment of the following reviews and classify them as positive, negative, or neutral. Uh, and let's do it separately. S-E-P-E-R-A-T-E-L-Y. Separately. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to put in your reviews. Okay. And you're just going to click run. As you can see, it's gone off and doing its stuff. So then it's going through and it's saying, look, at they're all positive reviews. Now, if there was any negative in there, it would go in and do that. It also looks at kind of like positive, like the words that are used within there. So it's going to be able to tell you whether it is positive or negative. Now, what I also did was I wanted to test it to see how it runs kind of when something is multi-sentiment. OK, so this again is kind of when we're creating a piece of content, we want to ensure that we keep within the same kind of sentiment within that content. So let's go and have a have a look at a piece of content that has multi sentiment into it. And so what I put in basically was analyze the sentiment of the following blog post and classify classify them as positive, neg uh, negative, neutral separately. OK, and then I'm just going to paste in the blog post that I had and we're going to run this. OK, and what it's basically going to do again, this blog post expresses a mixture of sentiments reflecting on the ups and downs of life while acknowledging both. And then it goes into the sunshine the, and then it goes in, which is a positive, the shadows, the negative, the in between, which is the neutral and the overall. So it's overall telling us that it's a neutral kind of uh, element within there. Now, this is good for many things because when you're creating content, you don't want to have your content coming across as massively negative unless that is basically what it is that you're after. Also, when you're reading reviews, if you want to pop the review in here and you want to see the overall sentiment of the review, you can ask it, what's the sentiment of this review? Is it a positive review? Without even going through it, then you can test it in there as well. OK, there's one more thing that I should have said to you here as well. And the reason that I didn't was because there's an issue now at the moment with the blog writer. What you can basically do is you can compare the different models. OK, OK, so you'd be compare Flash 1.5 to Gemini 2.0. OK, now it's not working at the moment. OK, so if you see. I've got the same thing, write a short engaging blog post based on the picture, write a short engaging blog post based on the picture. So what you'll notice is it's not working at the moment. An internal error has occurred. But here's how to use this, okay? And I apologize, nothing to do with me. It's, it's, it's the AI studio at the moment. Hopefully it'll come back soon enough because it's a really, really cool feature. But here's how I would use it. 
I would use it when you're creating emails, okay? I would create emails and basically I would A, B test those emails. So I would send half of the email that is written by one model and half of the emails that is written by the other model to your email list and see which gets the best click-through rates, see which gets the best kind of, you know, engagement within those emails. And then actually you'll know which one is going to work more and keep on testing those, keep on testing and testing and testing and making them better. Apologies, it's not working because that's peed me off massively because it is such a cool feature to actually have in here as well. So get in here, test this out, okay? because it's really, really actually interesting. The link below is going to be down there. It's free to sign up. You need a Google account, obviously, but you can test the different models. It's a little bit more difficult than Gemini in itself, but look, give it a try, play around with it anyway. And look, there is a lot of garbage in there that you don't need to use. Follow the ones that I showed you, which is the sharing your screen, which is the, the marketing copy, which is the sentiment analysis, and also the blog writer a little bit, like if you want to do it. I love the comparing of the blog writer thing, though. Also, if you want to check out my free affiliate course, I will leave a link to, you, to it down below as well. My name has been Kieran Doyle. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Keep it easy.